uh, with your willingness to go and serve the Lord in this way. And um, your church family wants to be of support to you in this journey. So um, tell us just a little bit about what this is all about. Seth, you want to start? Yeah. All right. Seth, you start, and then we'll just go, go on down the line there. Yeah, what the mission trip is about and what you're going to be doing down there. So what we're doing is we're going to be going to Bolivia. We will be trying to pass out 3 million glow tracks in roughly a week's time. Wow. And so try to reach as many people as we possibly can down there. Wow, that's fantastic. So how many, do you know how many are going to be on the mission trip total? Around 35 is what I heard. Around 35. Okay. Can we get all three of these mics on you guys just to make sure that we can hear them? So about 35 kids are going. And so what's all involved in pre pre uh, preparing for this mission trip? What's going on behind the scenes? How much money are you guys needing to raise total to make this happen? Well, it ended up being a bit more expensive than we originally Okay, thought. yellow mic. Let's make sure she's on. Let's try it again. Okay, I'll try There we go, cool. <laughs> All right, so how much? Uh, it's been a little bit more than originally planned. Yeah, each student is trying to raise about $1,800 okay. because the airfare is significant. Yes. The airfare alone was like over $1,400. Yes. And then we have, you know, a hotel stay, yep. um, transportation to get to LAX, yep. um, back yep. and forth. Um, insurance, all of those all good things. Those well, and we all know, we're all experiencing how the prices of everything have skyrocketed, right? So this is going to be a bit of a more challenge uh, in terms of the funds that are necessary to make this happen. But, you know, every person that I've ever talked with that went on a mission trip as a kid, they never regretted it. They always said, man, that was a worthwhile experience. I'm so glad I went. So... Tell me, what are you looking forward to the most? And what are kind of your expectations? Um, so both Seth and I actually went on last year's mission trip to San Francisco, and I just, I didn't regret it. Like you said, it was a really good time. Um, I got to know everyone who went on the mission trip with me, all the kids from my school, a lot better. We became really close, but even more than that, just being around the people, like the one we went to is called San Francisco City Impact. And those people there just had so much Jesus in them, and they were just full of so much light. It was really, I guess it was just refreshing to just see people with, you know, you be around so many people with such a beautiful outlook on life and so yeah. willing to get in and help. Yeah. And so, you know, their kind of, their light kind of leaks off on you, and you just, you really feel great while you're there around those people who are so focused on God's work. So I'm just really looking forward to being in an environment like that again. Yeah, absolutely. And, and how cool is it? when you're around like-minded people and, and you're lifting each other up and you're encouraging each other in the Lord and you're serving others. That's fantastic. Seth, what are you looking forward to? What what might your uh, expectations be? I'm really looking forward to being able to spread the word of God. Last yeah. year, as many of you may know, I went to Youth Rush. Yes. And uh, doing that, I really just love spreading the word. And when the opportunity was presented to me to go to Bolivia, yes. I jumped on it because, well, What's more, what's more enjoyable than spreading God to people you've never met? Amen. People that maybe never had the opportunity. Amen. So church family, um, if you would like to support these young people in this mission trip, um, I'm going to present them with a check from the church. But I'd like to invite you guys to think and pray about helping them as well. And what you do is if you just mark it on your envelope, or if you do the online giving, just mark it to make it to Armona Union Academy and mark it for Armona Mission Trip. And those funds that are received will help these two young people go spread the love of Jesus and make an impact in your lives. And so you guys, it's really my pleasure um, that our church board was able to allocate some funds for you guys. We wish it could be more, but this will get it started and we just, so proud of you guys, and just thank you for your willingness to go and serve the Lord. And I'll give that to you guys, and you can give it to the school. Kathy, thank you for your ministry. You know, so often our teachers, um, just we're not saying thank you enough to you for everything you do and all the sacrifices you make. What an important ministry uh, you do for these kids. Thank you. You hit the nail on the head when you said how much a mission trip impacts. Because um, I went on a mission trip when I was a senior in academy, and 
it's because of that mission trip that I want to make sure that our students have the opportunity. And when I heard about this opportunity through the Central California Conference, I just thought that's perfect. They're going to have such a great time. Fantastic. Now, Kathy, there was one other thing that I wanted to just take a quick minute and have you talk about. Uh, Kathy, you've been participating in our Arise discipleship program that's been online and so forth. And just from your viewpoint, just how has it impacted you personally, as well as just maybe how you're living life and doing ministry to the kids? Well, um, so I was raised in the church, and I'll be honest, when I first heard about the opportunity, I didn't jump on it because um, in another state where I lived, some people that I knew that were involved, they were like super legalistic and, yeah. and it just kind of gave me the wrong impression and I was completely wrong yeah. about the presumption I had about the rise because of the people that I met. I couldn't have been farther from the truth. Um, Ty Gibson is one of the main um, presenters, presenters mm -hmm. and he gives such a balanced, grace-centered, love-centered approach to the gospel and it's just such a cool thing that um, their whole course is like this broad overview of the Bible as a story. The yes. whole overview of the story of the love of God um, expressed throughout all these centuries. And I just really appreciated the, just the little nuggets of wisdom that were um, inserted in the different lessons. Like, I would have to say that the basic, you know, theological concepts were not new to me. But there were so many little things that were new that I just thought, oh, I never thought of, about it that way before. For example, when they were talking about the love of God and who God is, um, he mentioned how God holds our hand. And he quoted a verse that I memorized when I was, you know, a teenager about um, how God upholds us with his righteous right hand. And I always thought about that from the point of view as like, you know, him giving us strength or rescuing us like a parent maybe. Yeah. And Ty brought out that it's affectionate and I never thought of it that way, you yeah. know? I hold hands with my husband because I love him and I never thought about it being affectionate with God. And another thing that I just loved was about the Sabbath. Um, they just talked about how the Sabbath was um, created. I mean, we all know the Sabbath was made for man, but they just went into so much more detail um, like, for example, um, he said the Sabbath is full of I want to and completely free of I have to. Yeah. And you don't have to do anything to earn God's favor because we already have it. Amen. Amen. Uh, the, the Jews had the right day with the wrong picture of God. And Jesus himself did a bunch of things that the Jews thought was wrong on Sabbath. Yeah. And he talked about how Sabbath teaches us rest. And I just love this Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29, another memory verse that we've heard so many times. Yes. It yes. says, come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I never connected that to the Sabbath before. And that word rest, they said was actually the word for psyche. Mm -hmm. And he's giving us rest for our soul exhaustion. Yes. And if yes. you, I mean, I think all of us have experienced soul exhaustion in the Indeed. last couple of years. Indeed. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to encourage you guys, there's something for everyone in this course. So even if you can't commit the 200 hours to finish the whole entire thing, I honestly think it was worth the $50 investment just for the introductory lessons on who is God and on the Sabbath. Like, I would yeah. feel like I got my money's worth just for that little bit. Indeed. And there's so much more, you know, if you're a little... Um, foggy on Daniel and Revelation, you could jump into that, or if you love church history or want to find out more about the beginnings of the church, or, you know, who's Ellen White, um, there's all kinds of sections, there's sections on health, um, you don't have to stick with the program, I'm yeah. telling you, you can bounce I'm a around. teacher, I'm a teacher can, telling people to stick. Hey, you can customize it. Yes, yeah. you can just find the sections that interest you. And um, I just highly encourage anybody to just go for it. And um, it's just it's such a blessing. And yes. I just really appreciated it. And I've been able to take little bits and pieces here and there and work it into the lessons that um, that I present at our money Union Academy. Beautiful. Really well, Kathy, it. thank you for sharing your uh, uh, experience. And church, again, I just want to encourage you. If you haven't, this is something you can do individually on your own. You can do it with a group. But, um, you know, don't miss this opportunity because it really does make a difference.
So listen, you guys, super proud of you. We're excited to hear, and, and we want you to report back after you come back from Bolivia about how the trip went. And I'm gonna just pray a prayer of blessing on you that God's gonna bless you all with safety and that um, God's gonna, gonna uh, just help you raise the funds that are needed, okay? Heavenly Father, thank you for these young people. Thank you for their testimony this morning. Thank you for how you're at work in their life. And so Lord, I just ask that you will bless them abundantly, that you will give them safe travels and that you will raise all the funds that are needed uh, to make this trip a reality. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, you guys. God bless you. All right. Love you both.